we're going to start off looking at Georgetown, obviously. But the main thing this year is, man, can UCLA repeat? So they're going to play each other again in the Final Four. And it's, again, UCLA got the win last year when it counted most here in the Final Four. And so they're just trying to see, can we do it again? This year, again, they're embracing that culture of finally Coach Hoyle's recruiting the one and done. So we're going to see they got a big acquisition. And it's the same team from last year. If you, As we go through it, you're going to see a lot of guys came back. Not too many guys rolled off. So 34-3, and three, not the best year. Like last year, 38-0. and 0. And then the Hoy is 32-5, and five, so not their best year either. Like I said, though, luckily it's not college football because, crap, <laughs> imagine if you lost a couple of games and your season was over. That was a powerful dunk. So you got Pipkiss in there. He's a solid player. And let's see what Georgetown has. Patterson. So he's a 6'5 shooting guard right now. He's a sophomore, 215. So the player we're going to be looking at for this pivotal game is going to be Marco Perrick. Seven foot one, 255, and he's just solid, bro, from Croatia. As you can see there, it's going to be dunk everything. That's, that's, that's the motto, kind of like what Patrick Ewan did for Georgetown that year, block everything. Okay, this guy is going to be, yo, dunk everything, contact layup. It's just another... In my opinion, I feel like he's just another version of Aston Edo. And this is kind of the first time Coach Hoyle has had this player, right? So, look at this, bro. Range. And it's, again, the same exact hype. Because now you got a European player. Jesus. I ain't never seen nobody catch a body like that. You got a European player coming over from Croatia, bro. Where... He could have easily just said, hey, I'll wait my turn and I'll be like Tony Kukoc or Drazen Petro, Petrovic and go to the league. Come on, bro. What you going to do with me? <laughs> what you going to do with me? I'm seven for one. But he said, no, I'm going to come to America like Aston Edo and just dunk everything. And he's really solid, man. This is how a big man from Europe plays. Like he's dunking everything. Very solid. Very good around the rim. Shoots the three. I mean, and like I said, like I was getting at earlier, come on, he's going to shoot that. Like I was going to get at earlier, this is the first time Coach Hoyle has had a young, kind of like a generational talent. Look at this. Shooting the three like it's nothing. And you saw earlier, called a body. And he's getting blocks. Like like I said, he's Aston Eero 2.0. He's actually a little bit better in my opinion because look where he's shooting from. I mean, Aston Eero was definitely solid, could pass the ball a little bit too. Look at this, bro. I haven't seen a player like this, bro, where it's dunking everything. And it's like this. It gets to a point where you just got to foul him. Look at the score. He's very dominant. And the game glitched, so we weren't able to go to the halftime and see what his stats were at the half. It all glitched. But look at the score, bro. Last year, it was a 15-point game when UCLA finally broke through and won. Look at the score now. 24 points. And these are two of the top teams in the country playing. Even if Georgetown had five losses and they weren't as great as normal. Just Perrick is just different, bro. He's just a very different player. And I know Coach Hoyle is very happy that he's fine. Come on. He's dunking everything. Look at that. He has 10 dunks in this game. I feel like by himself. Like, on the pick and roll, we saw Ito... And we saw Went do some nice little layups. I mean, Went did dunk one time, but not like this dude, bro. And look at the, the score, bro. It's a 22-point game. Make it 24 because he's going to dunk it again. Oh, wait. We got a little bit of seconds left. Let's see. He's going to score again. <laughs> so, UCLA, after beating their rival Georgetown for the second straight year, and it's a 22-point victory, they're well on their way to winning back-to-back. -back. And Georgetown did it early. 
So he ended up with 41 points, 3 for 3 from 3, 17 of 19 from the field, 2 rebounds, 4 assists. Ridiculous. I don't know why they didn't count that block, by the way. That's ridiculous numbers. But again, if you're getting everything around the rim and you're just stronger than everybody, I mean, it shouldn't really surprise anyone. Come up in an academy in Croatia where you're just bigger, faster, stronger. Not really surprising that you could just muscle everyone and do whatever you want. So obviously, he's the game changer performance because when you're dunking on people, bro, two people and just doing whatever you want, it gets to that point, bro, where you kind of take the heart out of the other team. So, like I said, he's asking you to know, 2.0, the frenzy to get the, the big Croatian and come to your school. No one else had to do anything. He had 40 by himself. In Georgetown, I mean, they had some guys. So, let's go over the season review. Like I said, it wasn't a bad year. They were two seed. And they won their conference again. 32-6, and 14-4. and four. Almost lost it <laughs> with them four losses in conference bugging out but like i said they don't have the star that he's thrived on as a coach as you can see matsui they just got random guys bro recruited them they've been there for a couple years they know the system they're gonna be good they're gonna fill the, the stands but it's not the same and you see the star guy like muhammad and Perik, that should have went to him i mean they made it to the final four right that should have went to georgetown that normally goes to georgetown they went to UCLA. So they're the two seed. So at the bottom of the bracket, they won by 32 points. Sheridan's the leading scorer. Liberty's a good little player. Then they win by, what, 17 against Connecticut? Beat Memphis by, what, 20-something? And everybody, Sheridan, Liberty's scoring. They beat Michigan State by eight. Again, Matsui stepped up this time. Valentine stepped up. And then the championship for... Not the championship, the final four game. Shit, it feels like the championship, <laughs> having to play each other every time. It's like, who else you play? That's the championship game. So we're out in California, back to back. Uh, normal season for them. They win 30 games every year. So they won the conference, 36-3, and 15-3. and three. Only three games were in the conference regular season. And you see it again, 13 championships. So now he has two. All those 400 wins finally has his two rings to show for it. And it's taken a while for him to get to this point. So, I mean, they were the best team. They were one seed. Perrick, 23 points. Next closest person had 10. So, like I said, he's finally embracing the one and done. And when you have a brand like UCLA, bro, and you win by almost 50 in the first round, Second round, they win by 20. Perrick with 29. Third round, 21 for Perrick. Third round against Texas, 25 for Perrick. So he's keeping up his 20 points per game, as you saw, and then went for 40. And the de facto championship game. But the actual championship game, 31 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. And they win by 8 to go back to back. So, like I said, you have the machine of UCLA, and now you finally get one and dones. You finally get a coach that says, yeah, come play with us. Look at the roster, junior, 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 senior. So, Houston player of the year, um, coach of the year, Billy Hoyle, third time. Defensive player of the year goes to Arizona. Big man of the year, Houston. Freshman of the year is going to be Perrick, 7'1", 255. Can score, handle, rebound, block. Um, can't really jump, but that's about his only thing. So 7-1, 255, 23 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 block, had 900 points. And, I mean, that's pretty good. 44% from the field should be a little bit, bit better. 40% from 3. And then 81 from the free throw line. So could have been a little bit better. Freshman of the year, second team All-American, freshman All-American, conference freshman. First team all-conference, freshman all-conference, five-star out of Croatia. Could have been a little bit better around the rim, in my opinion, but, I mean, who asked, right? So, second team all-American, and you get Udize, or Uduzu, 
and you get Perrick on the freshman All-American list for UCLA. And it's different because Muhammad was that guy. So conference coach of the year, conference championship, player of the year goes to Connecticut. Like I said, bro, look at it. Georgetown just don't got the dudes. Like, it's crazy that they even get to the Final Four because they have no awards to show for it. It's crazy they win with no dudes. UCLA, UDZ, and Perrick again on the freshman. UDZ was good, but he had eight points. I don't know why I can't, can't say his name. And then Perrick is the only first-team player for UCLA. I don't know, man. It's like kind of a mid-off. <laughs> I feel like it is. Arizona Player of the Year. Hoyle Coach of the Year. Conference Champions. And there it goes. The end so, to another video. Hey, Follow my coach, Ali you know, Watson. Blood, I'm starting off at a small school in New York to four do, national do, championships. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.